Hello, Matt. It's really great to be here. I've just nipped into a side cupboard from my audience with the Queen to talk to you. Well, how do you uh, do an impression of uh, the new Prime Minister? All those Boris Johnson impersonators will be uh, out of work soon, but luckily Jan Ravens is here to sort it all out. Jan, lovely to have you with us. Hello, Matt. Hi. How Very are, nice to see you. How are you? How is big a big day for you? The last, in fact, the last time last time we had you on the show, you were voicing up the Queen from 1952. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now you've got the Queen and Liz Truss together in one room. It doesn't get much bigger than that for you. Well, I think as, you know, as fellow Liz's, uh, Liz, uh, Liz Truss will be saying to Liz Windsor, mate, you know, you're cracking on a bit. Give us the crown. I've got this from here. You know, uh, I've come this far. Queen Liz is just, you know, it's going to be a walk in the park. <laughs> that's really I mean without being patronised it's really good that even though I'd have thought there wasn't much going on with Liz Truss's voice for you to get your 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 claws into what is what what are you looking for in Liz Truss's voice when you start out on trying to form an impression well I think Liz Truss was one of those um one of those voices that kind of revealed itself through character yeah. because I just saw this character and it was like this little girl whose daddy had always told her she was funny. And that whole thing of like looking round for applause and laughter the whole time. Um, uh, and, you know, I, I'm always amazed that politicians don't take, I was, you know, it used to surprise me with Theresa May that people didn't take more lessons in how to use their voice and how to make speeches. I mean, Liz Truss knew she was going to win that uh, leadership election for months, and yet she came out with that speech yesterday that was, you know, really not oratory. <laughs> really not. That's one way of putting it, really. We're just saying deliver, 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 deliver. Deliver, deliver, deliver. I think she thinks if she says the word deliver, delivery, deliver, 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 people will kind of be kind of like, oh, everything's going to be all right. Liz has said deliver. So, I mean, yeah. The trouble and, is, and the fact that she thought... Sorry, carry on. No, I was going to say, the trouble is these days we've got very used to checking our, checking our deliveries in real time and wanting to see that things are being delivered, uh, whether it's in the letterbox or thrown over the fence. And so, yeah, you can't just say it. You've actually I got to do is, it. I think, this is gonna, I think this is going to be policy thrown over the fence, <laughs> definitely. And what about the rest of her, her cabinet as we expect it? Have you been working on your Suella Bravamans, Therese Coffees, Anne-Marie Trevelyans? Uh, no, to be honest, I, I mean, to, to read his copy, actually, I, I mean, uh, it looks like she's going to be a, a bit of a laugh, though, because I did see a photograph of her the other day with a glass of champagne and a lot of things spilt down her front. Yeah, and a cigar on. She had a cigar yeah, on the go as well. On, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, I thought, well, she looks like she's a good night out. It's a phenomenal um, picture, that one. It is amazing. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. Uh, Suella Braverman is actually, I mean, vocally, as far as I can tell so far, a, a little bit bland. Um, so, uh, I think we're going to, you know, again, like with Liz, like so sometimes it's the character that takes you into the voice as opposed to the sort of vocal characteristics. I mean, like, uh, on Dead Ringers, Duncan Wisby did with David Davis, you know, the British bulldog and that kind of, you know, the sort of, uh, eager sort of, uh, I've got it, prime minister, you know, and the, it was, it was the character. That, That's that... interesting. You, you need to build that around it. And will you miss Pretty Patel? Um... Well, I didn't actually do Pretty oh, Patel fine. under Deborah Stevenson did her. So, um, so no is the will, answer. Very I will miss, however, I will miss Nadine Dorries, uh, the posh scouser, uh, the Minister for um, Culture, uh, Media... Di oh, I can't be bothered with remembering. And, you know, when there's a, a war, <laughs> you know, how can I be bothered to remember all these uh, things I'm Minister of, you know? But there is a war on woke. I know that much. The woke are arty. <laughs> are after such a good turn. Well, Jan, yeah, Miss Nadine. Jan, it's been lovely to speak to you. Thank you for coming back on Times Radio. Always, always a pleasure to have you join us. But now we've got yes. time. Just got time for this. Yes, it's time for a hugely popular quiz. Can you get to number 10? 10 questions loosely connect to 10 cabinet jobs. The more questions you get right, the better the job you get, taking your place alongside our listeners and guests. If you make it all the way to number 10 and get that right, you'll cross the threshold and become our Prime Minister. So who is today's backbencher looking for promotion? Well, they've just updated their Twitter profile. Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain, Northern Ireland, leader of the Conservative Party and MP for South West Norfolk. Liz Truss is on the line. Hello. 
Hello, Matt. It's really great to be here. I've just nipped into a side cupboard from my audience with the Queen to talk to you. Well, you Hi. are you are doing what Rishi Sunak said he'd do and then bottled it at the last minute. So here we go. Liz Truss, live on Times Radio. Let's play Can You Get to Number 10? Liz Truss, to become Minister Without Portfolio, complete this well-known phrase, we import two-thirds of our cheese. That is a disgrace. Is the correct answer. Question number two for digital culture, media and sports. You failed to turn up to an interview on the BBC with which interviewer? Was it Laura Koonsberg or Nick Robinson? Uh, Nick Robinson. Is the correct answer. You didn't come on my show either, but you're here now. Uh, question three for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs. You went to Beijing to open up what? Pork market. <laughs> it's the correct answer. Question four for Transport Section. You revived your promise to build the Northern Powerhouse rail line between which two areas? Liverpool and Hull. It's the correct answer. Question number five for Education Secretary. Where did you go to university? Oxford. Don't we know it? Uh, question six for health secretary. Your mother had which healthcare professional job? She was a nurse. We've heard a lot about that as well. Question number seven to become home secretary. What was your grace and favour house while you were foreign secretary? Chevening, and I did not put up any flock wallpaper. <laughs> Very good. That's a correct answer. Question number eight for Foreign Secretary. Which country were you proud that Britain was selling tea to? China. <laughs> Question nine for Chancellor. You were born in 1975, so how old are you? Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Uh, I am uh, 40. Seven years old. It's the correct answer. And finally, question number 10 to become Prime Minister. Which Prime Minister are you fed up with people comparing you to? Oh, well, I wouldn't say I was fed up, but I think you must be referring to Margaret Thatcher. It's the correct answer, which means Liz Truss, live on Times Radio. You have My made dream. it to number 10. My dreams have come true, Nick. Oh, that. What a silly job this is. Jan, thank you so much for joining us on Times Radio. We love having you on. We look forward to Dead Riggers coming back. Bye, Jan Ravis, thank you for joining us on Times Radio. Bye-bye.